Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to complete the North Hebrew Mountains Crystal Shrine quest here in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So the location of this shrine is going to be found on the northwestern side of the map here, indicated by this star that I've placed so that you guys know exactly where to go. And when you get here, you're going to have a boss with a green crystal. Now, I found the best way to start this is to use a bomb flower and attack the crystal now. The crystal is going to be the only way to deal damage to this guy. So if you can hit it with a bomb flower quickly, you'll already knock him down a bunch of health. Now, the way to actually fight this guy is to use anything that's going to thaw him out. So I am using the fire fruit. And when you hit him with something with flames, for example, the fire fruit, you guys will see that he thaws out. His ice goes away on his main body and he falls down. And what that's going to do is give us the ability to climb on top of him to get to that crystal, since the crystal is what's going to deal damage. Now, eventually you're going to fall off. You guys will see here throughout the gameplay that I'll fall off and he'll re-ice himself per se. Uh, and once he does that, just hit him again with the fire fruit. He'll fall down. You can climb on top and start hitting the crystal. You'll see here that he knocked me off again. The only attack really that you need to watch out for is when he rears his arms back and goes to throw his rock at you. And then you just got to sprint sideways and you'll be able to avoid it pretty easily. Um, so what I would recommend doing is if his main body isn't completely ice and just his arms are just avoid his arms as much as you can and wait for him to do that where he becomes full ice again and then you can hit him with the fire fruit or whatever you're using he'll thaw out again he'll fall down we can climb up on top and we can start whacking the green crystal um, but this is the best strategy to take him out i found i'll also recommend using a weapon that's quick and it's going to do a lot of damage or you're going to be fighting this guy for a while um, but yeah this is pretty much how you're going to take him out so we'll finish taking him out here you guys will see i'm kind of just waiting for the rest of his body to turn into ice so i don't risk dying with him being so weak so i'm just sitting here waiting and now he's back to full ice i'm gonna hit him with the fire fruit he'll thaw out he'll fall to the ground i can climb on top of him now and then i'll smack the crystal and it'll finish him off and once you finish him off all we need to do now is pick up all the loot first of all because we're going to get a lot of really good stuff from him so we'll go ahead and pick all this stuff up and once you get everything we're going to pick up the green crystal and just walk toward the back so the shrine is going to be a little bit further past him you guys will be able to see it on our screen here as it pops up as we work our way back here uh, one thing you can do is you can come back here first and actually start the shrine and then the laser on the little green crystal will light up so you'll know exactly where to go but it's really not that far away. I mean, you really can't miss it. It's not too bad. Um, and then this is a Raru's Blessing Shrine. So once you get inside, all we need to do is run up to the chest, open it, and we can complete the shrine in the back. But if you guys have any other questions on how to get this done, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys in the next video.